Hi, welcome to Construction Point. My name is Oshibe and today we shall be discussing how to determine the width of our strip foundation. I did not say depth, I said width. Of course, we determine our depth, the depth of our foundation using either Rankine formula or through our soil investigation result. So, traditionally, if we want to determine the width of our strip foundation, we make use of this formula B equals to 3D, where B is the width of the foundation and D is the width or thickness of the wall. So if I have a wall thickness of 225 and I want to determine the thickness or the width of my foundation, I will simply say 3 times 225, which will give me 675mm. So 675mm becomes the width of my foundation. So if I have a wall of 150 mm, that's 6 inches, I will now, to determine the width of my foundation, I will now say 3 times 150, which will give me 450, and that forms the width of my foundation. This is not applied in uh, structures like retaining wall. Of course, retaining wall makes use of strip foundation, but it has slightly a different design where we talk of the toe and the heel. So we'll be exempting the retaining wall. Now, beyond b equals to 3d so this formula b equals to 3d is mostly applied when the condition of the soil is very suitable what of when we have a terrible soil and we are still wanting we still want to make use of steel foundation so we'll be evaluating three different conditions we'll be evaluating one the condition where b is less than 3d two the condition where b is equal to 3D and 3 the condition where B is greater than 3D stay tuned if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe and click the notification button as we proceed let's continue condition 1 figure 1 in this condition B is equal to 3D this is always provided in a suitable soil where the soil bearing capacity is very okay in this condition the width provided is enough to transfer the structural load to the earth. Condition 2, figure 2. In this condition, B is less than 3D. In this condition, the soil, the width of the foundation provided is less than the required width. Hence, there is always a difference or a problem occurring from this. Condition 3, figure 3. In this situation, B is greater than 3D. This type of condition is obeyed when the soil we are working on, the soil bearing capacity or the soil is a very is in a poor grade. So there is a provision for reinforcement to satisfy this condition. If reinforcement is not provided, it usually fails by share. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for our next video.